Hi, this is Marjor. For today's video, we tackled about ethics. Ethics, ethics. So, let us define hmm, what is ethnocentrism and cultural relativism. To know more about this video, just stay tuned. Then. A few moments later Ethnocentrism is judging another culture by values and standard of one's own culture or what we call superior culture Ethnocentrism also will judge the other culture according to their language, behavior, custom, religion, and the way of living According to William Graham Sumner of 1906, described the term involves a belief or attitude that one's own culture is better than all of others. In short, almost everyone is a little bit ethnocentric. To know more about ethnocentrism, let's cite an example. Americans tend to say that people from England drive on the wrong side of the road rather than on the other side. So it means that people from America is that a little bit ethnocentric because they judge the people of England about their driving behavior. Well, 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 para malaman pa talaga natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng ethnocentrism, tayo naman ay magbibigay ng halimbawa paukol sa Tagalog. Hello. Kung ikaw ay pumunta sa ibang bansa para magbakasyon at hindi ka sangayon sa kanilang pangkabuhayan, pagkain, kultura, postura at ang kanilang pang-araw-araw na gawain, at sila ay inyong hinuhusgahan sa pamamagitan ng inyong pagsasalita. So, ikaw ay tinatawag na ethnocentric dahil hinuhusgahan mo ang kanilang kultura. A few moments later. Cultural relativism is the practice of assessing a culture by its own standard rather than viewing it through the lens of one's own culture. It also practicing cultural relativism requires an open mind and willingness to consider and even adapt to new values and norms. In short, you are the one who adjusts. It refers to not judging a culture to our own standard of what is right and wrong, strange or normal. Instead, we should try to understand cultural practices of other groups in its own cultural context. For example, instead of thinking fried crickets are disgusting, one should instead ask, why do some culture eat fried insects? You may learn that fried crickets are full of protein, and a famous food cuisine in have been eaten for thousands of years as healthy food source. In general, both these viewpoints or concepts present extremist views, while ethnocentrism leans toward intolerance, Cultural relativism leans toward incredibly high tolerance of cultural features. Both views present negative connotation. It ethnocentrism in its extreme form gives rise to and supremacist, while cultural relativism allows the propagation or certain practices that basic human rights. In terms of sensitivity, ethnocentrism is insensitive to other culture. Cultural relativism shows high cultural sensitivity. This view involves examining a culture and all its aspects and evaluating them. The basis for evaluation differs according to the view employed. A few moments later. So guys, yun.
Napakikinggan na talaga natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng ethnocentrism and cultural relativism. So, ang opinion ko lang doon is kahit, kahit saan ka mang kultura na nanggagaling, kahit anumang relihiyon mo, anumang paniniwala, at sa inyong komunidad, basta ang importante ay meron tayong respeto sa isa't isa. Even if you are in a superior culture, dapat hindi talaga natin nilalait kung ano ang kultura ng iba dahil kultura nila yun at paniniwala na nila yun ang atin lang dapat gawin ay marunong tayong rumuspeto mintindi sa ating kapwa tao dahil kahit anong kultura nila is doon sila nabubuhay doon sila naniniwala sa kanilang um, kultura so yun lang um, ang masasabi ko so we should respect one another Even where did you belong? So thank you guys sa panunod ng aking video vlog. So sana ay magugustuhan yung maraming salamat po.